Please be seated. A very good morning to you all and welcome to this graduation ceremony in the splendid surroundings of Whitworth Hall. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduands whose hard work and magnificent achievements we're here to celebrate today. These achievements are all the more remarkable given the challenging times that we've all faced during this last few years, not only as a community but as citizens of the world. We're also delighted to see so many friends and family here. We thank you for the support and encouragement that you've given to our graduates during their studies, which has been so important to their success. When those of you graduating today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make your mark on the future, both for yourselves and for the greater good of society and the environment. As the first university in the UK to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all of our students to engage in transformational activities, both in their studies and beyond, to help you stand out, consider your place in the world, and make a difference. Throughout the course of your studies and life at Manchester, you have gained the skills and knowledge to find success in future years and become responsible leaders of tomorrow. The way you've balanced your commitment to academic life with other interests will help you to find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfold. And of course, we must not forget the strong supportive friendships and relationships you have forged here, which I hope will sustain for many years to come. You can be confident that wherever you choose to live, work and make an impact, the value of your degree will be widely recognised. Manchester is recognised as one of the world's leading universities, placed 28th globally and 6th in the UK in the QS University World Rankings. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. But this is the beginning of the journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment continues beyond today's celebrations. Our career service will continue to offer you help and support for three years, and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university, linking you with a community of more than 500,000 Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can help future students in so many ways, as ambassadors for this university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university which is vital to its future. So, we sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university, and please remember that our doors will always be open to you. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Professor Andrew Miles. I'm the Director of Research in the School of Social Sciences. And on behalf of all my colleagues in the school, um, many of whom are sat behind me, it's my honor and very great pleasure to offer congratulations to everyone celebrating their graduation today. This morning, we are celebrating the success of University of Manchester students who've completed undergraduate and postgraduate courses in the social sciences, provided by departments of criminology, economics, law, philosophy, politics, social anthropology, social statistics, and sociology. These include our taught programs leading to the award of an undergraduate or master's degree, research programs leading to the award of MPhil, and longer term doctoral studies culminating in the award of PhD. The fact that you, are gradu our graduates, are here today to celebrate your graduation is, as already been mentioned, testament not only to your excellent academic abilities, but also to your determination and resilience during exceptionally turbulent and unpredictable times. In particular, the COVID-19 pandemic has presented a challenge like no other in recent memory. It has no, no doubt left scars on everybody. However, the fact that you've come through it and completed your degrees in the face of such adversity is a tremendous achievement. 
As well as the experiences of the students I've taught and supervised, I also know something about the challenges you've faced firsthand, as my son was in the second year of his degree when the pan pandemic began, and uh, three months ago graduated here in this same magnificent hall. Now, to recognize your achievement, um, I know it's a bit hot, but we'd like a little bit of participant involvement here. I would like to ask the families, friends, and invitees of the graduands, along with my colleagues, to stand, if you can, and to mark the success of our graduands by giving them a very loud round of applause. Thank you. Please sit. I now ask our graduates to stand and to express your thanks to your family, friends and invitees for supporting you through the highs and lows of your studies in truly exceptional circumstances. Thank you. Please sit. So, turning back to the social sciences, what have our students gained from studying them at the University of Manchester? What was the point of all that hard work? What is it that social scientists do? Well, the social scientists help us analyze and thereby by understand action and interaction at all different levels of society, from individuals to households, families and communities, in villages, towns and cities, through to national institutions, governments and global networks. The major contribution of the social sciences is to investigate and thereby know the social world we inhabit, to explain it, to inform public debate on it, by carefully specifying the challenges we confront, and most importantly, how we might address them to make a world, the world a better place. It is clear to me that the social sciences have never been more important than they are today, and indeed may well become in coming years. Take, for example, just some of the current social challenges in the UK, transforming not only how we organize ourselves now, but also what we plan for our lives in the future. These challenges include the ongoing implications of Brexit, questions of devolution, focusing on Scottish independence, of course, and also the northern powerhouse, with this great city of Manchester at its centre. And the problem of rising wealth inequalities, which sponsored the government's levelling up agenda, and has recently been brought into sharp focus by the cost of living crisis. And then, of course, there are the continuing uncertainties surrounding COVID. These are the issues that have saturated the news media, but how do we make sense of them beneath and beyond the headlines? How are they going to play out in the near and distant future? These are the kinds of questions that social scientists grapple with. But now broaden this out to the deep and hotly contested questions of sovereignty and control that lie at the heart of relationships between peoples and states within Europe and across the rest of the world, and which most recently have been thrown into turmoil by the Russian attack on Ukraine. Within such relationships, we must reconcile issues of economic performance, technological change, population movement, social polarization, political engagement, democratic accountability, and of course, national and international security. And whilst dealing with all of that, we can factor in the relative claims for justice and equality between younger and older generations, and in the domains of gender and sexuality, race and ethnicity, religious belief and social class. Last, but evidently not least, given that we will be walking out of this hall in a temperature of 36 degrees plus, we face the existential challenge presented by climate change, where understanding and addressing people's attitudes and behavior 
is as challenging as the physics. It is issues like this that define our core aim in this school, which is to develop and support our students to become influential and respected University of Manchester social science graduates who have both, both the capacity and the ambition to intervene in a complex and changing world. To support this vision, our students benefit from expert teaching that is shaped by up-to-date knowledge on how best students learn, which is in turn informed by world-leading research that addresses the varied and demanding contemporary economic, social, and political landscape. This ensures that the social scientists in the hall today have a powerful resource to draw on when negotiating the rich canvas of opportunities that lies ahead of them. Whilst at Manchester, our students will have developed a range of intellectual and research skills, from high-level quantitative analysis of international data sets to in-depth ethnographies of particular people and places, examining some of the most pressing issues of the day in the process. Many of our students will return to their home countries to become leaders in research, teaching and learning, in policy formation, often in political life. In all cases, they will have the necessary tools avail available to them to make a positive difference. It's because of our exceptionally talented staff who undertake such research and teaching and the exceptionally talented students who benefit from curricula that build on this research that we are one of the most successful schools of social sciences in the UK, recognized for the breadth, depth, rigor, and international reach of our research. Social sciences at Manchester is now placed 28th in the world according to the Times Higher Education Ranking of World Universities and seventh in Europe. In addition, the school has made a core contribution to the University of Manchester's ranking as the best in the world for societal impact based on the UN Sustainable Development Goals Framework. So, you should all be very confident of your own abilities and skills, which are highly prized by employers and will stand you in good stead whatever career path you take. We're extremely proud of you all and hope you'll take away very fond memories of your time here at Manchester, socially and culturally, of course, as well as academically. Most especially as graduates in the School of Social Sciences, we hope that you will reflect on the richness and breadth of your experiences and grasp the opportunities that a Manchester social science education now affords you. Do please keep in touch. Come back and visit. You can stay in contact by following us on social media and tell us what you're doing. We have banners with all the QR codes in the Arthur Lewis and Williamson buildings that link you directly to all the university sites. Once again, many congratulations on your achievements. And now I'll hand over to Dr. Michel Obeid from the Department of Social Anthropology, who would invite graduands to be presented. Good morning, Vice President. On behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, BBSRC DTP Studentship, Owen McIntosh. <laughs> and in Bioethics and Medical Jurisprudence, Catherine Ann Blewett. Victoria Moore. Also graduating with a President's Doctoral Scholar, Laura O'Donovan. And in Economics, also graduating with a President's Doctoral Scholar, Lynn Lang. And in philosophy, Justina Berskite. Also graduating with a President's Doctoral Scholar, Simon Wogenbach.
and in politics, Jack Bailey. <laughs> Kerry Fowler. <laughs> Vittorio Gerosa. <laughs> Alina Nitschik. And in social anthropology, Rosafa Berisha. <laughs> also graduating with the president's doctoral scholar, Tom Boyd. <laughs> and in social statistics, Josephine Biglin. Harry Taylor. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Arts in Economics, Helena Benedict Bonner. <laughs> and in International Relations, Harriet Mary Whitaker. And in philosophy, Amelia Isabel Herbst. <laughs> and in social anthropology, Fabiana Anselmo Polido Lopez. <laughs> Ezekiel Hubris. And in social research methods and statistics, read Elijah Roberts. <laughs> and in sociological research, Rahmat Faisara Badmos. <laughs> and in visual anthropology, Maria Luisa Renda. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy with Honors, Zach Christopher Adzad. <laughs> Mario Bison. <laughs> Annie Bolton. Megan Brown. <laughs> Luke Carey Cholton. <laughs> Freya Shura Dixon Brown. <laughs> Zach Che Balgobin Dowding. Gabriel Fenner. <laughs> Ella Marie Fields. <laughs> Isabella Ford. <laughs> Emma Jane Garland. Sasha King. <laughs> Christy Megan Lafevre. <laughs> Jack David William Laycock. <laughs> Maya Lewis.
Isla McChain. Matthew Connor Bodiam Moore. James Scott Munro. Daniel Parks. Joseph Patrick Rice. Ella Robinson. <laughs> Joseph Stanley Douglas Robson Walton. <laughs> Louis Stevens. <laughs> James Oliver Tomlin. And in Social Sciences, Criminology with Honours, Ella Abramson. <laughs> Fehuz Balut. <laughs> Lara Hartree. <laughs> Varsha Mistry. And in Social Sciences, Philosophy and Criminology with honors, Molly Blake. <laughs> James Jonathan Downey. <laughs> Saren Helling. And in Social Sciences, Politics and Criminology, with honors, Oscar Hedgeco. <laughs> Mariana Konekna. <laughs> Abdullah Ali Navid. Ihesinachi Oyuwa Okojaja. <laughs> Josephine Shohet. <laughs> Dionysios Tamatelakis. Wang Chuan Yang. And in Social Sciences, Politics and Philosophy, with honors, Daniel Adelman. Maria Jimena Caceres Cueva. Martha Kuhn. <laughs> Elizabeth Edwards. <laughs> Henry Andrew Bernard Foster. <laughs> Isabel Amber Monique Francis. Mia Fuel. <laughs> Jordan Gam. <laughs> Camille Garrett. <laughs> Madeleine Charlotte Gray.
Thomas Hadro. Nicola Hencheck. Raphael hum Humphrey Atiemo. <laughs> Hannah M. Lee. <laughs> Harry Lowe. Eleanor Louise Marland. Grace Catherine Moore. Connor Morgan. Daniel Newton. Taya Pirgos. <laughs> Leticia Roden Thomas. <laughs> Polina Sergejeva. <laughs> Edward Simmons. Ewan Stewart. <laughs> Catherine Thurkettle. <laughs> Natalia Vavrikova. And in social sciences, politics and social anthropology with honors, Mariana Firth. <laughs> and in social sciences, politics and sociology with honors, Laura Lee Rosemary Naomi Bachu. <laughs> Elliot Bell. Ellen Broomfield. <laughs> Emma Clancy. <laughs> Olivia Rose Doggett. <laughs> Alice Falciani. Lily Gregory. <laughs> Fahima Lambat. <laughs> Molly Alice Layden Mount. <laughs> Rachel Lorraine Murray. Helen Margaret Murray. <laughs> Amber Newlands. <laughs> Mairead Sylvia Pentland. <laughs> Simran Sandhu. Jonathan Wimbo. <laughs> and in social sciences politics with honors, Amelia Burnham. <laughs> Ilya, 
Isabel Lampert Wendt. Isaac Levin Stuhlberg. <laughs> Ellie Lindsay. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Lockram. <laughs> Tabli Begem, Mavlo Nazarova. Alexia Mikalev de Cesare. <laughs> Noah Benioff Salama. <laughs> Hope Stiley. Rudy Stevenson. <laughs> Megan Lily Tracy. <laughs> Poppy Julia Summers. <laughs> Lucy Wilson. Andrew Yoxo. <laughs> and in social sciences, social anthropology and criminology with honors, Nandita Plakazi. <laughs> and in social sciences, social anthropology with honors, Talula Gard. Nagisa Okada. <laughs> Sophie Richards. <laughs> and in social sciences, sociology and criminology with honors, Hannah Ahmed. Wael Aliafi. <laughs> Max Elliot John Bishop Farrington. <laughs> Emily Boom. <laughs> Erica Chessworth. Amanda Clegg. <laughs> Bethany Dale. <laughs> Aaron Fulham. <laughs> Umeha Habiba Ali. Ashley Ip. <laughs> Maisie Ledbitter. <laughs> Sana Mohammed. <laughs> Iman Nassar. Aisha Patel. <laughs> Beth Olivia Rainford. <laughs> Laura Wills. <laughs> and
and in social sciences, sociology, and philosophy with honors, Elsie Rose Liddington. Joaquin Zurita. And in social sciences, sociology, and quantitative methods with honors, Sinu Du. And in social sciences, sociology and social anthropology with honors, Ellen Georgia Ambrose. Olu Watamilori Clinton. Ella McKean. Matilda Irene Ponsonby. <laughs> Madeline Raggett. <laughs> Oliver Steele. <laughs> and in social sciences sociology with honors, Bethan Brown. Danielle Clayton. Arthur Jocelyn Healer Fruit. Anya Jennifer Stacy. And in sociology with honors, Charlotte Horbury. Please stand. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. And I now declare the ceremony closed. Thank you.